Ever wanted to partake in the Paris Dakar Rally? Before setting off on such a hell of an adventure, you need to find yourself a team of fine professionals. A skillful pilot with nerves of steel, and a quick and witty co-pilot to guide you through the hardest of terrains. Someone with whom you know you speak the same language. Now, getting around the city is usually a piece of cake. All right, turn slightly to the left. Okay. Go on for another 20 meters. Change the third gear. Slow down. Watch out for the dog. Okay, we can park here. But in a race, under pressure, and no road signs to guide you, things can get a little more complicated. Go on, go on, faster, faster, faster. Take a right. No, no, left, 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 left. Third gear, get the third gear. Come on, go, faster, faster. Whoa, careful, careful. Whoa. At most. Now imagine you could use just one word and by changing the sound of a vowel, communicate all the necessary directions. What? No, Welts, no, Welts. Okay, okay. Wheels. Wheel? Wheels. Wheel? Wheels. Ah, okay, okay. Wolves. 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 Okay. Hi, and welcome on board. Today I'm here with Portiguero. Hello, friends. My friend from Explico el Juego is helping me out with this video today. And we're going to talk to you about Rally Ras. It's a clock race in which in teams of two, a co-pilot will give instructions to the pilot to guide him through a route, but only using one word and modifying the way it sounds to give the instructions. It's a fun family filler where you're bound to laugh hysterically at your friends. It's a three to eight player game for ages nine and up, designed by Pepe Roma, and edited in Spain by Darbel. And it lasts from 15 to 30 minutes. Get the engine started, we have a race to win. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Divide the cards into two decks and place them like this. Divide into teams of two and determine the roles of pilot and co-pilot you can divide the space between them with a game box to avoid any peeking. Now draw five cards from each deck and place them in front of the co-pilot. Each active player gets an Asphalt Terrain Help card. Get a timer. Have any non-active player control the timer. The witnesses must draw three random cards from the directions deck and decide which one will determine the word that the pilot and co-pilot must communicate with. We won't pay attention to any of the words on the other cards. The goal is to make the least mistakes in the communication and fulfill the course in the least amount of time possible. The team with the fastest combined time wins the game. After an initial countdown, the co-pilot will reveal the five sets of cards and tell the pilot the information in them. The first card always shows the direction to take and the gear to do it in. The direction can be either left or right. The gear is anything between 1 and 4. The map route card shows one of three things. The route, the speed, or a warning sign. The route is either short or long. The speed is either fast or slow. And the warning sign is either a bump ahead or an animal crossing. Each piece of information is given using one of five different sounds where the missing letter is in the word given. In this Spanish version, we use the five Spanish vocal sounds. A, E, I, O, U. A as in apple, E as in elephant, E as in me, O as in only, and U as in two. A is used to signal left, we'd say wonder. E is used to signal right, we'd say wenda. E is used to signal the gear, but the sound is lengthened in time according to the gear number. First gear would be winda. Second gear would be winda. A third gear, winda. And a fourth gear, winda. O is used to signal what route to take and the speed to do it in. When said in a deep voice, it means it's a long route. Wanda. 
and saying it in a high pitch that it's a short round. Wanda. The same sound is used to show the speed. If set slowly, Wanda. It means to drive slowly. If said quickly, Wanda. It means to drive quickly. And lastly, when there's a warning sign on the road, two possible things can happen. If it's a bump ahead, oo is used to signal it. We'd say wunda, but if it's an animal, the animal must be imitated. Moo, woof, quack, quack. And you decide for this one. In response, the pilot must keep his hands on the invisible steering wheel that comes with the game and mimic the sound of the engine. He has to wait till the co-pilot has finished giving the three instructions and then translate and mimic them. Left, first gear, long route. When there's a bump on the road, the pilot and co-pilot must both keep quiet but jump off their seat in synchrony. Not doing so is considered a mistake. Right, second. And with the animal warning, the pilot must say, watch out, and the animal name. If he wants to, he can swerve away to avoid hitting the animal. Right, first, watch out, cow! As soon as the instructions on the fifth set of cards are translated by the pilot, the time is stopped. For any number of mistakes made on each one of the cards, a total of 20 seconds are added per card to the time. Once every team has had a go, the team members switch roles and go again. At the end of the game, the total times are added up and whoever has the best time will stand highest on the podium. The game has an app that keeps track of the time and time penalties. The link is at the video description. You can also bring the difficulty up by using any of these different terrain help cards. Well, that's it. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you don't want to miss any of our future videos. It's free and it really helps us keep going. Bye bye. <laughs> Games on board. We do the reading, you do the playing. Subscribe to his channel too. Oh yeah. <laughs>